I'm Melanie Murphy and I'm here to share with you some tips on how I like to get the perfect everyday eyebrow and also how to get a more defined brow for nights out and what have you. First off, we have the everyday eyebrow. I will always start off with the shape. So there's several different ways you can go about this. And what I always like to do is begin by either getting them threaded or waxed professionally and then maintaining that shape myself at home. No matter what eyebrow style you are into, whether it be thin brows or really full thick brows, the general shape that you should be going for is the same. And I'm gonna show you how to do this using a spoolie brush, which is also for brushing your eyebrows. So when you want to find out where your eyebrow begins, you'll take this brush from the tip of your nose here and the inner corner of your eye and bring it up. And that's where your eyebrow will begin. If you want to find out where you should have the highest point of your eyebrow, so that's the arch, you'll bring it from this tip of your nose right through your pupil and that will show you where the highest point is. This gives that shape of the perfect eyebrows that everyone is after. When you wanna know where your eyebrow will end, you'll take this through the outer third of your eye and that's about where it will end. So as you can see, mine don't quite go that far. So I'll have to fill that in with using a pencil or a brow kit. So just remember those three positions and you're golden. So next what you wanna do is comb them. And what I like to do is comb mine upwards and this is also part of the grooming process. So when you're combing them upwards, if you have a lot of hairs that are kind of sticking up at all angles, you can trim those using a little scissors. However, mine have already been groomed. So as you can see, they're in the right shape. And the only problem is that they don't look quite there. So for an everyday look, I'll just go with a bare texturizing gel because it's quick, it's easy, and it looks great. And what these do is mimic the appearance of tiny little hairs and they add dimension and fullness to your brows. So rather than having that really flat, one-dimensional look, they will make them appear thicker and fuller and that makes you look more youthful. So I'll show you first on this left eyebrow. What I'm just gonna do is simply brush it through and it is as simple as that. You're starting off and keeping to the shape that I just showed you how to mark out with your spoolie brush. And these come in different colors as well, so you can match it to your own eyebrow color. But for everyday eyebrows, I think these are absolutely ideal. It's a lot more realistic than having a big long list of products that you need to use. It really is all in that grooming process. So that is generally just what I would do if I was running out the door. And if I wanted to clean up the shape a little more, I'd get a very pale eyebrow kit. And this has a powder here and a wax here. And what I do is get an angled brush and just take a little onto the tip. And I find this a lot easier than using a pencil to shape them. So this inner part of your eyebrow is usually the part that is hard to get the shape on. And it's the part that if you do a little to this area, it makes a massive difference to your look. A couple of seconds before you go out the door and I promise you, people will notice a difference. As the old saying goes, your eyebrows should be like sisters, not like twins. Nobody has like completely matching eyebrows. So yeah, that's basically how I would do my eyebrows for an everyday look. So next we're going to do a lot more of a defined look. So I'm not so much here going for really full brows, but more so really, really defined brows. This is what I would prefer for the likes of a night out with the girls or for photos. Anytime you're going to be photographed, it's great to have your eyebrows perfection. So I'll always go in using a brow powder and gel kit. And these are browsings by Benefit and also the Fuchsia Cosmetics. You'll see that this wax is really white compared to the other, but that doesn't make any difference. It's all about the powder. And for a defined look, I'll usually go for a really dark powder. I really like how that looks. I'm taking an angled brush for this so you can get really good detail. So you can dip this into your wax and into your powder and combine the two. And I'm actually gonna start off on the top of my eyebrow. So I'm going to be doing a lot of pre precision here and doing really small little strokes. So I don't want it to look like a block has been stuck onto my eyebrow. I want it to look semi-natural, but also quite defined. So 
first I'm going to determine the height and shape of them by doing this all along the top. And also I'm going to kind of dramatize my arch. So I'm going to kind of make it look a little more pointed than it naturally is. Not cartoony, but you know, just a little something something. And I'm also going to bring this out a little further than where my eyebrow ends into a really sharp point. So like we discussed earlier, you don't want to bring it out any further than that because then it's going to look crazy. <laughs> so I'm slowly going to fill them in. And what the gel does is it flattens the hairs as you go, which is great because when you have them sticking up, you can kind of see where your hairs end and where the product begins. So once that flattens the hairs, it's kind of hard to tell really that you've done a job on them. So it's really great if you've previously highlighted this under area because it'll make this look a lot more dramatic and it'll make it a lot more clean looking. And then for the inner third, what you're going to do is just get the tiniest amount onto your brush and you're going to tilt it this way, so like this, and very, very gently build up colour there, really gently. It kind of makes it look a little bit ombre and like it's sort of slowly becoming less hairy to the inside, which is the way a natural eyebrow actually is. And once you're happy with that brow, you can move on to the next one and try and match it up as much as you can, but they're never gonna look the exact same. But you can see a huge dramatic difference there between that eyebrow and that. And this one is a lot more photographical. It looks a lot better in pictures than this sparse little cornfield of a thing. So I'm going to do the exact same on this side. And I have very little arch on this side, actually, because this eyebrow just was never gifted with an arch, so I'm going to have to kind of draw one in, if I can. You don't have to be an artist for this, guys. It just takes a bit of practice. And then it's time to do the slidey slide again. So what I'm going to do again is go very gently have this on its side matched up with where my eyebrow is. And this is just the exact thickness of a typical eyebrow, which is perfect. So that is how I define my eyebrows for photos or a night out. And I hope you enjoyed both my brow looks, both day and night.